This is my whole entire clothes. I'm going to wear bikinis, everything. Six weeks. Hello everyone, how are we doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to try and keep it quick and snappy. So, I'm going to Australia for six weeks. I basically leave in a few hours because I'm spending the weekend in London um, and then I'm not coming back home in between. Um, I'm just going to go stay at my cousin's who lives near Heathrow Sunday night because our flight's Monday. Okay, I'm not packed. <laughs> But I've done this twice before, so I'm going to Australia for six weeks. I have been to Bali for four weeks and I have been to Costa Rica for four weeks where I took the same backpack. So I feel like I've kind of nailed it with what I want to take. Also, it being six weeks, I want to make sure I definitely do have like the perfect amount of stuff. Because in Costa Rica, I had too many cute clothes and not enough kind of casual tops. I bought a lot of casual tops that were like short sleeve, whereas I should have bought strappy. So... Rather than doing a pack with me, like me showing you the decisions and like me doing my prep, like nails and brows and stuff, I thought I would just do one, like what I'm taking and just show you literally everything that's in my backpack. So let's get started. I think I've got everything. This is the current state. It's all just kind of laid out on the bag because I didn't even want to put my clothes in packing cubes because I just kind of wanted to show you what there was. I think this lighting's okay, hopefully it is. So let's start just like with the first part then. So I've got three pairs of shorts and one skirt, but one of them is like comfy shorts. So to me, yeah, they don't really count. So I've got one comfy short, one denim short, like an everyday short, and then I've got two more beachy ones. So I've got these, which I definitely could wear out and stuff. They're just like little kind of linen cotton shorts. And then I've got these flowy khaki ones. I normally bring a pair of lime green shorts that I'm sure you've all seen a hundred times, but from taking them to Costa Rica and Bali and like literally living in them every single day I was there, they're a little bit ruined now, like they're very saggy at the crotch. So this is my replacement pair and I really like them, they're from ASOS. And then I'm gonna bring one skirt, this white fox skirt. I wore this so, so much in Costa Rica because I have a matching top for it. So it's a cute little co-ord. And then I was wearing this sort of just like black with blue with loads and I wore the top so much. So it's so nice to have a cohort like that that you can wear too. You can like wear them separately and like make a cute outfit. And then we'll do dresses and like skirts and or dresses and stuff. So this isn't a dress. This is a cohort. This is from Jaded London. This is the top. So I didn't actually wear this in Costa Rica, but I am going to bring it anyway because Costa Rica wasn't really like a dressy beachy town whereas I feel like I can get away with wearing this in Australia we go for like a cute dinner or like dinner on the beach and also I wear this top a lot like the top super cute and then this skirt literally rolls up to nothing so like I may as well have it in there for the choice and because we're there for six weeks like I don't want to feel like I can't get dressed up if I want to this is new I'm bringing a lot more well I'm bringing one two three four five yeah I'm bringing five dresses slash play suits because I I'll show you the one that I brought to Costa Rica. So when I went to Bali, I bought three clothes of packing cubes, three packing cubes of clothes. Do not do that. To Costa Rica, I bought one. Well, technically I bought two to Bali. Costa Rica, I bought one and I still kind of didn't have enough of the right stuff. Play suits from Urban Outfitters. If you are going traveling, literally buy six of them. If I had more of these, it's genuinely all I would bring. So this one is really cute because it's like, they look kind of like a skirt and this one's in this grey colour. It's like a halter neck. It's really cute. You've probably seen me wear it a hundred times. So I wore this like silly amounts in Costa Rica. So easy to throw on. So, and when I was packing for Costa Rica, I was like, I don't need three. I only need one. And then I just wore it so much. I thought, fuck it, I'm going to bring three. The reason I didn't bring this one before is because the colour is not good for sweat patches. Like I wore it once in Bali and then never wore it again because the sweat patches are just through the roof. But in some of the first places we're going in Australia, it's not gonna be that, that warm. And I still think it's not gonna be as warm as Bali because we were like middle of Bali summer and like we're coming into Australian spring summer. And then I've had this for fucking yonks. <laughs> this is a play suit from Topshop. It's literally black. It's a similar thing, super flowy V-neck. This I like because I would wear it to the beach, but I also would quite happily let go for lunch in this or like, go out for like a day trip in this and then I've got a slightly nicer one that I would still wear in the day but would wear out as well this is from Urban you've probably all seen this dress on my Instagram I absolutely love it I was going to bring this white dress over here I've left out some things here that I was going to take and not just because I thought it'd be interesting to show you so this white dress I absolutely love 
um, but I wore it quite a lot in Costa Rica and it does take up quite a lot of space. So I just thought I'll switch it up and won't bring the same dress. And I'll bring this one because I didn't bring this one last time. And then I did actually order myself like a really nice long dress from Urban, super thin, just because, as I said, I really enjoyed wearing dresses and stuff. And I would rather wear a dress out for a day trip than like denim shorts on the top and get super sweaty and uncomfortable. And then we've got tops. So I've got eight, which I can't decide if two is too much because we've only got three pairs of shorts. Like I said, in Costa Rica, I wish I bought more strappy tops. So we've got a bandeau, love, and girls' tops literally take up hardly any room. And then we've got two more black tops, which is, I don't know if it's silly, but I've just got a white fox simple vest. I wore that loads. Again, I wore this a lot. This is a white fox short sleeve top. Then I got three cute weekday tops. We've got pink, simple pink, and then we've got a slightly nicer pink, which is like plain at the front and then like completely backless essentially, because that's nice if you want to feel nice on day trips, you can wear it out, super easy. Similar kind of thing. We've got a really cute uh, blue kind of vest that's just like one shoulder, so it's a bit fancier. We've got that weekday top that I was, no, not weekday, white fox. I love white fox. We've got the white fox top I was talking about. And then just two white vests, one from white fox and this one from Primark that I feel like you all probably have. But I just brought this because it's not see-through. I can wear it as pyjamas. It's just nice to have two white tops. So that's that. So I'm going to put all of my clothes in this packing cube and I'm going to show you how they fit. So I do have more clothes that I'm going to bring but I just need to fill this packing cube and see and then I might take out like maybe some tops because I've got two shirts that I would maybe like to bring. One of them is really small. I don't know why I'm bringing two shirts but and in Sydney and Melbourne it's not actually that warm yet. I am also bringing linen trousers, definitely always kind of bring some kind of linen trouser just because yeah if there's a slightly warmer night or just sometimes you get sick of being in little shorts and linen trousers aren't like hot yeah they will be coming with me but I'm wearing them over the weekend so so I roll all of my stuff up like this roll 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 you can fit so much in I'm aware this isn't like super light packing like it is but it's not I do still like to have option and I think as well what we noticed with Costa Rica it's a lot harder to get not harder but it's a bit more inconvenient to get stuff washed when you're moving so quickly because they take like overnight so normally you don't bring it on the first day because you arrive at like four unless you're super organized you're just like going out and then if you do it the next day it's like sometimes we were leaving by then so i would rather have like some extra play suits that i can chuck on then not at all i'm also gonna wear a whole like a full track suit to the airport which i wasn't gonna do I was trying to figure out what kind of long bottom I wanted to wear. But I'm actually just going to wear a tracksuit because we've got some overnight coaches, which I just don't want to be cold in, basically. I think I'm going to take out the Topshop play suit just because I don't think I do need three. I think two is good, but would I rather this or green is the question. I'm going to leave this out for now just because my comfy shorts take up quite a lot of room. I was debating another pair of trousers, but what I'm actually going to bring is two shirts. So this is annoying because I was asking my mum if she has any long sleeve shirts and I found this really, really cute shirt she has. But it's not really long sleeve and it's really flowy, which I think will come in handy. But I think I still need a long sleeve shirt. So I'm going to see if I can put both in. Okay, the packing cube is actually really quite roomy. I'm bringing one oversized top, which I've never done before. Sorry to keep talking about past trips, but I wish I had in Costa Rica. So I'm bringing one big baggy top, which I'm going to pop in here. I'm just ironing, well I'm not, my mum's just ironing that dress, and then we can put that in. And that is that, and it is quite roomy. So, I might put my gym stuff in there. After this, I feel like we don't have much left. So for gym and stuff, I always bring this Gymshark top. I love it and I wear it as a normal top as well. This is a Tyler Scott, which is a bit random and I never really intended for gym. I wore it so much in Costa Rica for yoga classes and gym stuff because it's really like, not loose is the word, but you know like Gymshark shorts, they're like, like on your leg tight, like big waistband tight on your stomach, which in the heat, like I just absolutely hate. And then I'm bringing a black pair of shorts 
And then I've got a black sports bra for the white school and the black shorts. And then a pink leggings set. So I actually am going to see if I can fit that all in here. Okay, I'm going to leave that for now. And then I'll show you what's in this bag. So I'm bringing a lot more underwear this time because last time I ran out of underwear twice and was washing them in the sink and wearing wet underwear. So I've actually got one, two, what should we take some out now? Three, nine, ten. So last time I brought ten. I'm also bringing <clears throat> one little bralette just because some of my white tops are see-through. So just in case I want it. So 10, 11, I'm bringing 14 pairs of underwear, which I think for six weeks is okay. And then I've got two pairs of pajamas, just cause we're staying in, I say that I brought these, I bring these two pairs of pajamas everywhere. We're staying in hostels, so you need pajamas. Four bikinis and one swimsuit and one spare bikini bottom. This is the thing with packing cubes, they're made so that you can stuff things in them. They're made so that you can have too much and still close it anyway. So the clothes one isn't zipped yet because I've still got to put my dress in it, but this is my whole entire clothes, underwear, bikinis, everything for six weeks. I always bring a wrap and then never use it, but everybody says to bring us wrong if you're in hostel so you can use it as a curtain if you want to. So I think I'm probably going to stuff one in the top of my bag. I have brought them everywhere and literally not used them once but I don't want this to be the one trip where I feel like the saying I'd rather have it and not need it isn't always applicable for traveling at all like I would rather want it and not have it sometimes but yeah anyway and then we have my makeup bag this isn't all makeup so this is some of the stuff I need for the weekend and I will be not taking with me because all I wear when I'm on holiday is bronzer Brows and freckles is all I put on. I bring a little bit more in case, like I'll bring a concealer in case I want it. I bring a blush. I don't bother bringing a mascara because I've got my eyebrows laminated. I mean, my <laughs> eyelashes like lifted. But yeah, this is my little makeup bag. And in it, I always put this, which has a bunch of hair bands in it and hair grips. And then I always bring, I always put my toothbrush in there. These are toothbrush holders for the top of your toothbrush. Normally I use a whole toothbrush holder, but I couldn't find mine, super joke didn't have one. A little gel, in case I want to slick my hair back. And then this freestand mirror. Mine actually smashed on the way to Costa Rica, but when I put it in my bag, I was rushing, and I knew I put it in like an idiot. So I'm going to put it in between my two packing cubes. Or I might just shove it on top of this one, actually. I'm going to shove it in the middle of my underwear one. So 100 and 400 million percent bring a tote. I'm actually bringing two. Oh, I was meant to show you my backpack at the beginning of this video. Let me show you my backpack quick. I'm not going to show you in immense detail because anyone who's been watching my channel knows this. This is the best bag to ever exist on the whole entire planet. <laughs> it's actually my brother's from when he went travelling. But I try to show you the best I can. Backpacks are quite, I feel like, hard to show. So, this is the main compartment of the backpack, which obviously you can feel... From this way but if you lie it flat which obviously isn't crazy I feel like every backpack does this here are zips and it zips open like this whole front bit comes off and zips open like a case and you have this huge bottom pocket which I have learned to leave completely clear so what I do is I put my totes in there now I leave the whole entire bottom of my case clear for washing. When I went to Bali, I stuffed it with random miscellaneous things I didn't need. So I'm actually bringing two totes this time. Last time I brought this tote and then like a Urban Outfitters bag for washing. I'm just gonna bring two totes because we're gonna need them. So that is all that I'm putting in the bottom of my bag. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in as well for now. So these, I'm actually bringing two microfiber towels, which you might think, that's excessive. Why am I like being a witch? That's excessive, which I'm aware it seems excessive. I normally only only bring this one. This is my pink one. I bring it absolutely everywhere. I normally only bring one just in case you go to a hotel and they don't have a beach towel and you're not allowed to bring their towels. But this time we're going to hostels. So you need beach towels and your own towels. And I just don't want them to be the same. So I'm bringing two, which is an okay luxury. I'm okay with having that luxury. <laughs> So I'm gonna zip that bottom bit up now because that's all I'm gonna put in there. Actually, what I'm gonna put in there as well, which I'm gonna go get now before I forget, is an extension lead. I feel like I've nailed this packing now because like that I'm zipping up the bottom of my bag and I'm like, no, this is normally washing and 
extension lead. So now I said I'm putting nothing in there, but the towels won't remain in there for the duration of the trip. And as soon as we're there, the extension lead always just ends up in like one of our backpacks when we're traveling from place to place. But I don't want it in my carry-on on the plane, so I'm just gonna pop it in there. And then I'll show you exactly how I pack the main bit for maximum storage in a second. So you've got this main bit and it's got a pocket here, which when we're traveling, I put like, as a sock, <laughs> I put like wet bikinis in if they're just not pretty dry yet. And then on the top, you actually have two pockets. So it doesn't have loads of pockets. It does actually have a, oh, I'm out of breath now. It does actually have a laptop sleeve in the main bit of the back, in the main bit of the backpack against the back support and between the, your stuff so it doesn't get damaged, but I carry mine on me at all times because I'm always using it. So the top has this pocket that I used to think was actually really small, but it's actually massive. So in here, I normally travel with this little bag in the top, which normally has like random stuff like cotton buds or had like cotton buds, wax strips, floss strips, random stuff. But I'm gonna put this in the top this time because I've emptied that bag into another bag. I don't need all these bags. This is a bag full to the brim of period stuff. I know we're in Australia and they'll have stuff there, but I would rather just some stuff on me in case I come on my period because with my contraception that I'm no longer on, I'm waiting for my period to come back. And last time when it came back, I bled every single day for like three months. So let's hope that doesn't happen while we're away, but if it does, at least I have stuff on me. And then in the main pocket on the top, this is in Bali, I put this bag in here and it was like the biggest regret of my life. Like I wanna leave this pocket empty as well. We have my extremely well equipped, well equipped first aid kit. I have a whole video on my TikTok of what's in here, but some things I've added is, I've got wax strips because I get my bikini line wax and I just like to carry them on me now just in case I need to wax and I can't get an appointment anywhere or something. What else is different in here? Nothing much, I've got rehydration tablets, spray plasters, Go and watch the video on my TikTok, it's like the best first aid kit in the world. And I'm aware some of it I probably don't need now. I probably don't need diarrhea relief because we're in Australia. But I just don't touch it and it goes absolutely everywhere with me. And it stays in this top part of my bag and it's a lifesaver. Do you know what I do need replacement of? Mosquito repellent and cream. I need mosquito cream really bad. What else I have is Brazilian bum bum cream, some body moisturiser, which I'll probably just pop in the top of my bag actually. And then... So I've showed you my makeup. I always bring wipes, sorry. They are biodegradable. So this time I'm actually traveling with bars of shampoo, conditioner and body wash, like soap bars. Let me show you them. Because even if you buy liquid out there, which if you're going to, you should. We didn't in Costa Rica just because I had the space. So I brought shampoo that I wanted to bring. It's annoying. We had a whole carry bag full of toiletries that we just absolutely didn't need. And now, literally, we've gone from a carry bag to this. And they smell so good. So I've got a locally made shampoo bar. This is a body wash. And again, I was trying to find soap holders that fit. And then we had Tupperware at home that literally fit everything in it. And then this one is a conditioner. And how perfect is this tub? It literally fits in there perfectly. It smells like mint. This one's really nice. So I'm excited to see how I get on with them. And I'm excited that my whole entire life now fits inside this bag. I'm gonna go grab my toothpaste. I've been using to be meaning, waiting to grab it, but obviously I've been using it. So the other reason I wanted, I'm just gonna put one of these toothbrush covers on me toothbrush. I might leave one out for Cara in case he wants them as well. Obviously I need to put this in my weekend bag, not in this. Look, now I can put it in my makeup bag and it's not disgusting. Another reason I wanted a bag like this, like with a handle and I could just, that had all my toiletries in it is because we're obviously in shared hostels. So the one like hostel we did use in Costa Rica, we did stay in a few hostels, but just private rooms. One of them we shared a bathroom and like we didn't have anything that we could just like take to the bathroom. We were bringing like a whole carrier bag that had like our sun creams in it and our like body moisturizers in it. Like I just want a bag we can both grab and like go to the bathroom with. So this has now my floss, my toothpaste, it will have my toothbrush, my Estrid razor I would never bring by use another razor in my life. My Mitchum deodorant and I think that's kind of all that's gonna go in there. I am gonna bring these nail polish remover pads because I'm gonna paint my nails today for the weekend. So 
So literally just if I want to take it off. So that's kind of that. I don't think I need anything else in there. My face wash and face moisturiser will also go in here, but it's actually coming today, my Skin Me subscription. Um, and in here I've got my daily doses and my 50 SPF sun cream. And then, we've only really got a few things left to show you. An essential that I forgot, granny pants. Absolutely need some granny pants in your life when you're travelling. Okay, so we've got clothes, we've got the little toiletry bag, we've got our little makeup bag, which will have less in it. <laughs> um, we need socks. So, the only, only bag, so now we've literally just got shoes, handbag, and some tiny accessories, if you will. This is the only bag I will ever bring travelling ever again. I debated bringing a nice bag to Costa Rica, I bought this, it was her trial run, and my guest bag, I didn't use my guest bag once, and this time I was like, should I bring a nice bag, like it's Australia, like what if I want to like, you know, like go out for the night, or like we're having a nice dinner, and I was like, no, because I didn't in Costa Rica, like, I just, I know I won't want to, and I can't be bothered having another handbag in my bag. This is the Lululemon Festival mini bag or something, it's, <sighs> You wear it crossbody, it's literally my favourite thing in the world. My boyfriend was getting so sick of me saying how much I loved this bag. So, again, I have a way I pack this. In here is always, I just zipped it up. In here is always, 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 I need to buy one because we used it, a hand sanitizer um, and like a lip balm normally. And then you open it and in this pocket here is where I'll like slide my phone just because it's easy access because then whenever I'm like, we're out and I want to take a picture, I like, it's just there and don't have to open the whole bag, but then you open the whole bag. And then in here I always have, I bring a tiny, tiny card holder, literally, yeah, just, it literally holds cards and some cash. But in Costa Rica, obviously we carried a bit more cash because more places were cash only in Australia. I don't think we'll have that problem. So yeah, my card holder and my camera, and that's it. That's all I bring out. This is this bag and it's just a nice gray color and it's the easiest thing in the whole entire world. And if you're going traveling or you just like practical handbags or you're looking for a festival handbag, this is just, I'll sing its praises to the day that I die. And then we've got shoes. So I always bring my Birkenstocks and these black sandals. And then I normally just bring a 90p pair of Primark flip flops, but I forgot obviously it's summer, not summer anymore and they're not selling them. So I actually did treat myself to rubber Birkenstocks because I really do need something like this, especially this time from where we're just like, gonna be walking over to shared hostels, bathrooms and showers and stuff. So a pair of like, I say waterproof, like you cannot get proper Birkenstocks wet. They take years to dry. Like mine are literally still fucking wet. Um, so yeah, they were 40 pound, not 90 P, but it's also nice because now I've got like pink, black and white. Okay, the dress is in, let the jigsaw begin, if you will. Also, I have a lock, obviously, and I'm bringing my drone and some sun creams. This lock, I actually, I'm gonna get another one. I literally asked if any of you know Ella May Travels on TikTok. What, I was like, there's something about a certain type of lock. What is it? Because obviously I haven't really done hostels before. Um, she was like, try not to get a TSA one because anyone with a TSA key can open them. And I got a TSA one. So it's fine, I'm gonna bring it, but I'm gonna just buy another one just in case. So what I'll do is I'll open the whole bag. And this is to get the big packing cube in first. I've literally, master this so i'll get it because it is a bit wider than the bag so we slot it in <laughs> oh she's a bit of a brick this time i'll go wiggle 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 there we go so we zip it up and then we come from the top and we stuff it back down because <laughs> it does fit the base of the bag but it just needs it just needs a hand there we go it's in the base <laughs> I've accidentally made it a bit like, I've packed things a bit wide rather than tall because there's room in the packing cube like tall ways. So that's at the base of the bag. In goes this one on top of it. And because they're a different size, I have this space down the side, which my drone takes. <laughs> like it's actually hilarious how, how much of a jigsaw this is and how, how well I know where things go. Also, I'll be wearing my running trainers. See, four pairs of shoes seems a lot because normally this pair is super collapsible and just kind of fits in anywhere. But it doesn't now because it's not a 90p flip flop. I'm gonna put this down the front. The first pack's the kind of worst because you have to get it like all in. Like once we're there, I like hang my Birkenstocks off, Birkenstocks off the front of my bag and stuff. Like 
and I've still got so much room left in my bag. So in goes this. And then like I said, my makeup's coming with me this weekend. So don't need to sort that out right now. Just gonna pop my sun cream in a carrier bag. Cool, that is that pretty much, I think. I'm gonna bring a little speaker, which I'll put in the side of my bag or just in my hand luggage. And this goes up like this. And in the side of my bag, I have these like big long pockets where I put my books. And this is where I put my speaker as well. Always bring a spare charger with you for your phone. And basically that's all that's going in here now. So this is my hand luggage bag. It's again a backpack from Lululemon. I really wanted something with a laptop sleeve. So in here I always put my journal, my laptop, my iPad. And then really for me, all I carry is like, obviously my passport. There is now peppermint tea in here from Costa Rica, which I won't be taking out. And then the front has like some more tampons, some more hydration stuff. And I just fill it with like my camera equipment, to be honest. I'm gonna bring this because it's a fucking hard back. It starts with us. Um, and yeah, this normally just has my cameras, my SD cards, my spare batteries, etc., etc. But that is essentially everything I'm bringing to Australia. My top tips are microfiber towels, extension cords, uh, a good first aid kit. You don't need a lot of shoes, about everything I've kind of said. And if you want to see everything that's in my first aid kit, it's over on my TikTok. And yeah, my top tip's actually the handbag. Go and get the Lululemon Festival mini handbag. It's literally the best thing in the world. And I'll see you when I'm in Australia. Well, I'm actually there now, but yeah, slay. Okay, bye, see ya. That was quite good. Just packed in 40 minutes.